All right, it oh, is. I'm sorry. I was muted. Uh, oh, sorry. you're good. Yeah. Hello, <laughs> welcome. <laughs> nice to see you. <laughs> good to see you. Um, welcome to Abs Core and Mobility. It is 4:30 on Thursday. Um, so as always, we got some, some ab work, um, some glute work thrown in there, um, some stretching. Um, kind of at the beginning and then through the middle and at the end. So lots of fun coming today, lots of work coming up. Um, so let's get right to it. We're gonna start with a warm up today like we did on Monday. We're gonna start in standing. Uh, we're gonna do some squats and some torso twists to loosen up after sitting all day. So find some space. Just enough space. We're not going to be moving around too much. And we're going to start with some squats. So feet a little wider than shoulder width apart, toes pointing straight ahead. And then we're just bringing the hips down and standing back up again. Doing that from the side. You can go down as far as you want to go. It's up to you. Ease into it after a day of sitting or standing in one place, not doing very much, most likely. All right, and as we start to loosen up, maybe you start to go a little further down, but think about sending the hips backwards, but keeping the chest up, showing off the logo on your shirt or the necklace that you're wearing, whatever it is. Make sure those feet are still pointing straight ahead. We're just getting a little warmth in our bodies, getting the hips warmed up. And wherever you're at, let's go ahead and do three more, maybe a little faster. And I know that was three, but I'm gonna do one more for good measure. And then we're gonna stand all the way up. All right, warming up the upper body a little bit since we are doing well, upper body, and by that I mean waist up for the most part. Knees are gonna be bent, back is going to be straight. So we're not hunched over in a turtle shell. We're also not making this kind of seal position, lots of um, water marine animals there, but um, flat back here, arms are just hanging wherever gravity puts them. And we're gonna bring right arm up towards the ceiling, twist, look past the thumb, take a breath here. Let's come back to center and then the other side. Left arm up, twist, look past the thumb. Think about keeping that back nice and long. Back to center and right arm twist. And center and left arm. Center, one more each side, right arm. Hopefully you can get a little further on this last one and back to center and left arm. Keep your spine as long as you can and back to center and go ahead and stand all the way up. Okay, after standing all the way up, we're just gonna come right back down to the ground again. We're gonna get started with our first main set. So super quick demo. We got three exercises. We're gonna go through these three exercises five times. It's gonna be pretty fast. So we're starting with toe taps and I picked ones that are probably familiar on purpose. So with our toe taps, legs are straight up towards the ceiling, arms are reaching up. And then we're trying to touch our fingertips towards our toes without letting our legs start to bend. That's probably gonna be the hardest part is not letting those knees eventually bend as you fatigue. And then we're gonna go into crunches next. So you can have feet on the ground to give your low back a little more support or for an added challenge, you can lift the legs up in the air and then we're crunching. Hands can be over your chest or behind your head. Last one, we have side to side heel taps, feet are on the ground, arms are by your side. You're lifting your head, neck and shoulders up. And then you're touching fingertips to heel on one side and then the other. The idea is to go as quick as you can. 
Lots of abs with this one. All right. Like I said, five times, if you're not sure what's going on, just take a look at the screen. I'll be coaching you through it. All right, starting with those toe taps, let's make our way into our back. Legs are straight up. Here we go in three, two, one. Let's go. All right, right off the bat, legs are straight. We're trying to reach fingertips to toes. Keep it going. How many can you get? Go, go, go. Two, one. Feet are down to the ground. Crunches. Hands behind your head without cranking on your head or crossed over your chest. Quick pace with this one. Give me one more. Nice, side to side heel taps. Right into it. Whew. Lots of upper abs with this set. I'm feeling it already. Toe taps are next. And here we go, toe taps. Make your way onto your back and then we're right into it. Find that sustainable pace and stick with it. And don't forget to breathe, especially as you get fatigued. It's easy to hold our breath. And next coming up is crunches. Here we go, crunches, hit it. Minimal breaks with this one. Got this. Give me one more. Nice feet come down to the ground. If they're up in the air, we've got toe taps. If your head, neck and shoulders need a break, just go ahead and take a rest for a second. And then we can go right into it again. We're almost there though. Almost around three, toe taps are next. And here we go, toe taps back to center. And trying to reach for the ceiling again. It burns, I know it burns. Crunches are coming in two, one, crunches. You've got this. It's not an easy set. We're really blasting our upper abs. Heel taps, two, one, go. Side to side, heel taps. There's probably a more exciting name for this exercise, but I don't know what it is. And I couldn't come up with one myself. <laughs> We're on round number four in two, one, toe taps. If you need to extend your legs and just hold it for a second and then go, that's completely fine. If you're beasting through this, you're awesome. <laughs> this is no joke. Two, one, crunches. Find that pace that you can maintain. And then try to speed up as we get towards the end of the set. Three more seconds. Two, one, heel taps. Great job. Whew. Minimal breaks. Keep it going, we got one more round, two, one. Toe taps, last round. Best you can do, start to pick up the speed again. More than halfway through. Go, go, go. We're almost there. Two, one, crunches. I know those upper abs burn. If they don't, then, then that's just impressive at this point. Two, 
One, heel taps. Last exercise, and then we get a break. No breaks on this one because we're almost there. Don't give up. You've got this. Two, one, and time. Ooh, that was tough. That was a lot of upper abs. Go ahead and roll over onto your belly. That was a lot of crunching, a lot of flexing. Ooh, we're going to do a little cobra pose or a sphinx pose. So relax your lower body as much as you can. Hands are right underneath your shoulders and then we're gonna push our chest up as high as you can while still keeping the hips on the ground. And then you can stay on your hands or you can bring your forearms to the ground. Gaze can be straight ahead or more up towards the ceiling. Great stretch for our abs right now. We just asked a lot from them. So we'll give them a little bit of love before we go into the next set. The next set, we are doing no upper abs. Thank goodness. It's going to be a lot of different stuff. That was our ab blaster to, to kick things off. Okay, let's go ahead and make your way back to the ground. If you want to go into another one of those while I explain what's going on, feel free or you can grab some water. So our next set, we have four exercises. Really, it's three different exercises. Just the first uh, two we're doing on different sides. So we're gonna start with something called bird dog twists. Not a super common one, so I wanna make sure to demonstrate this one. We have done it in class before. So we're gonna extend, we're gonna start with our right leg extended always, and then we're gonna bring our left hand behind our head. From here, without moving our extended leg, we're gonna twist open and then try and touch our elbow to our opposite elbow. So twisting open without letting that right leg move and then bringing elbow, left elbow to right elbow. So we're gonna do all on one side and then we're gonna do all on the other side. Doesn't really matter which side you start on because we're, we're gonna do both. Those are our first two. And then we're going into reverse planks. So quick flip over, no rest between exercises. We're planting our hands on either side of our hips. And from here, we're bringing our hips or heels into the ground, excuse me, lifting the hips up, gaze, isn't all the way back, it's just kind of up at an angle, almost like a, a bridge pose. To make this easier, you can bend your knees and lift the glutes from here. So shorter lever makes it just a little bit easier. Not a lot, just a little bit. Our last one, we're on our back. We have scissors, arms are down by your side. We're lowering one leg to the ground and then the other, switching places, full range of motion, making sure our backs, our low backs don't come too far off the ground. So that's what we've got, four, exercise, four exercises, three different ones, a little bit longer sets. We're gonna go through this three times. Here we go, starting with those bird dog twists in three, two, one. So I'm starting with my right leg extended, left hand behind my head, Twisting open as far as I can, just like in our warm up, and then touching elbow to elbow. Trick with this one is to not let that extended leg move. This is a deceptively hard one. If you fall all over the place, no problem there. Switch sides, other side. This time. Your left leg extends, right hand behind your head. You'll find out real quickly which hip is a little more stable than the other. This one isn't about going fast, it's just about not falling and not letting that leg move. All right, go ahead and relax, turn around. We have reverse planks. 
We're going right into it, pushing the heels into the ground, lifting the hips up, fixing our gaze on the wall in front of us or up at the junction between the wall and the ceiling. That's what I'm staring at. Keep lifting and squeezing the glutes. Remember, another good option is to bend the knees and have this reverse tabletop position and come all the way to the ground. We've got scissors on our backs, one leg and then the other. Try and keep your legs as straight as you can. Once again, this is about keeping good form, making sure we keep lots of tension in the abs. Give me one more rep. There it is, nicely done. Flip over, we're at the top, bird dog twists. Left leg, ex right leg extends, left leg behind our head, and we're twisting. Find lots of length from the heel of your extended leg all through the crown of your head working all of the abs, all of them, all four layers. Give me one more twist and switch sides right into it on the other side. No breaks with this set or with any of these sets. We got not a lot of time, so we gotta make the most of it. Be as efficient as possible. Good, go, go, go. Try and get one more rep in. Reverse planks are next. Nice, after you finish that rep, we're flipping over. Reverse planks, pushing those hands into the ground, wrists underneath elbows, elbows underneath shoulders. If my arms look weird, it's because my elbows hyperextend a little bit. So ideally your elbows would be right underneath your shoulders and, and in line with your wrists as well. Almost there, two, one, on our backs for scissors. Straight legs, arms by your sides. If your back is particularly tight from sitting all day, you can always put your hands underneath your hips. And that can help take some of the tension off your back and glutes and hamstrings. Good, go, go, go. We got one more round. Two, one, nice. Bird dog twist again, right to the top. Right leg extends, the left arm behind. Right into those twists. Hopefully you can twist a little further without falling than you could on the first round. That's what it's all about. Little progress, little steps, little victories. Give me one more twist or finish up this rep and then we're right into the other side. Nice work, nice work. Best set yet with these bird dog twists. Don't let that extended leg move. We're almost there, we got reverse planks next. Two, one, reverse planks. Flip it over. Squeeze your glutes, lift, lift, lift. We're bending our wrists in the opposite direction that they spend most of their day in when we're on the computer. So if it's uncomfortable, that's normal, come down, shake them out, and then come right back into it. We're almost there though. No breaks. Two, one, come all the way down, scissors. Last one, and then we get a break. Find that length through your legs. One leg down, and then the other. Go, go, go. A few more quality reps and then we get a break. Almost there. Two, one, take a break. 
Whew, nicely done. Good. Um, really, uh, relief after I, I lost my words there for a second. Good relief after doing lots of upper abs. Go ahead and grab some more water if you'd like. We have one more set of abs before we stretch the rest of the day. So three exercises, we're going through it three times. So a little less intense than um, our first set, a little more diverse and definitely more glutes. So we've got bicycle crunches to start. Quick demo here, bringing elbow, or excuse me, shoulder to opposite knee, not elbow to opposite knee, like we often see in the gyms, but shoulder. And then we have, our bridge holds, so feet come onto the ground, just like our reverse planks. We're lifting, we're holding for 30 seconds. Our third exercise in this set, we're going right into bridge marches. So bridge holds, then bridge marches. Those are our three. We're gonna go through it three times. Here we go. All right, talk, get amped. It's our last one and then we stretch. Starting with bicycle crunches in three, two, one. Here we go. So just like with our bird dog twists, we're working on everything, maybe even more so than our bird dog twists as far as abs. Working on all four layers of our abs. Three, two, one. Bridge holds. Lift and squeeze your glutes. Pull your belly button towards your spine. We keep lifting and squeezing. Two, one, we're marching. So we're still holding that bridge. Still pushing our heels into the ground. But we're lifting one foot just an inch off the ground. It's not a lot with these marches. Just an inch or so. Two, one, bicycles. Back into it. Once you find the rhythm, you're able to keep your elbows wide. Start to speed it up a little bit. This is our finishing set, so we're working hard the whole time. Two, one, bridges. Lift, squeeze, and hold. You can have your foot flat on the ground. If that's more comfortable, then your toes up, but you're still pushing through the heels. And we're marching. One leg and then the other. We're trying not to let our pelvis rock from side to side. So you can put your hands on your hips if that helps visualize it or you can just go slow to feel it. We got one more round coming up. Two, one, bicycles. Elbows wide, quicker pace on this one. This is our last two ab exercise of the day, so pick it up. Go, go, go. Two, one, bridges. Use this time to bring your heart rate down from the bicycles, yet still thinking about lifting the hips, squeezing the glutes, bringing your belly button towards your spine. And we're marching last one of the day. Make it the best one yet. Good, keep your focus, lift and squeeze. No breaks on this one, we're almost there. Give me one more each side. Two, one, and you made it. Whew. Great work. All right, it is stretching time, right on time. All right, so we are going to start with our hip flexor stretch. Good one to get our heart rate down. Also stretch out our hips a little bit. Those bridges hopefully work, woke up our glutes. And now we're gonna um, 
use that activation to help stretch out the front of our hips as well. So we're starting with the left knee on the ground, right foot forward, be sure to add, grab a cushion um, or something for your knee if you need it. From here, we're squeezing our left glute, finding our abs, just like we did in that bridge and coming forward until we feel the stretch in the front of the left hip. We're relaxing here or bringing left arm up by our ear with the option to add in a side bend. Whatever gives you the best stretch on this side. Start to slow the breathing down. If your heart rate got up during those bridge marches. One more breath here. And let's make our way out of it, switch sides. Right knee comes to the ground, left foot forward. Left glute squeezes, right glute squeezes, abs are in. Maintain that tension as you bring the hips forward. We're relaxing or bringing right arm up by your ear and or adding a side bend. Breathe into the tight spots and be sure to keep tension in that right glute. One more breath in and one more big breath out. Nicely done. Okay, go ahead and stretch out your mat if it was folded up. If you have a cushion and would like to use it for your head, feel free to do so. We're gonna go into the bretzel. Let me bring my camera down just a little more so you can see exactly what my knee is doing. So the bretzel or the pretzel stretch, we're on our right side. And from here, we're bringing our left knee to the ground, pinning it to the ground with our bottom arm, our right arm. And then we're taking our top arm and reaching for the bottom leg. Lots of, lots of directions there. So follow along the best you can. From here, we're inhaling to prepare. And on the exhale, we're pulling our legs apart and trying to touch our top shoulder to the ground behind us. Our eyes are looking over our top shoulder as we try to reach. So pull the legs apart and twist. And be here for a couple breaths. So let yourself settle into it. Sometimes it can take a few seconds. Nicely done. Go ahead and release that bottom leg. Bring your shoulders back to center and flip over. So coming to the other side, principles exactly the same. Top knee comes to the ground. Bottom hand pins that top knee to the ground. We're taking our top hand and reaching for our bottom foot or ankle. Inhale to prepare. And on the exhale, we pull the legs apart and twist, reaching top shoulder for the ground behind us. Eyes are looking over that top shoulder. We're trying to keep our chin tucked somewhat. That part is usually easier said than done for most people. Focus on breathing into the belly if your hips are tight or into the chest if your shoulders are particularly tight. And let's do one more big inhale. 
And one more even bigger exhale, exhaling through the mouth like you're blowing through a straw. And once you finish that exhale, go ahead and release the bottom leg, bring the shoulders back to center. And you can stay on your back or come to a child's pose, kneeling or seated. But that is all I have for you today. As always, I'm Coach Brittany. This is abs, core, and mobility. Thank you for coming, making some time for yourself after a busy day. We'll be here next week, um, normal times and days. Um, and then there will be no classes on July 5th um, because we'll all be celebrating 4th of July. So hope to see you next week and have a great rest of your week.